Hedge's law of heat of summation. Actually, supposing that A is converted into B, this is A, this is B. In the formation of A to B, Q heat is released or absorbed. Q amount of heat released or absorbed. This is one path. Now, A is converted into C, then Q1 heat is released, and C is converted into B, then Q2 heat is released. According to this law, if any transformation proceed in a single step or more than one step, in a single step or more than one step, the total heat evolved or absorbed is always constant. Total heat evolved or absorbed is always constant, so Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. So Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. This is the simple law. In this law, you can add the equation, you can reverse the equation, you can multiply the equation, you can divide the equation. Which work is done on the equation? The same work is done on the value of delta H. The same work is done on the value of delta H. If you divided the equation divided by 2, uh, the equation then delta H is also divided by 2. If you multiply it by 2, then delta H is also multiplied by 2. If you add, then delta H is also added. If you subtract, then delta H is also subtracted. If you reverse the equation, then the sign of delta H becomes opposite. Have you understand? Is it clear? Now, see one example. See one example. C plus half O2 gives CO. Delta H is minus 26 kilocalorie. And CO plus half O2 is equal to CO2. Delta H 68 kilocalorie. And C plus O2 is equal to CO2. What is the value of delta H? What is the value of delta H? See here, if we added the above two equations, then we get this equation. So when the equations are added, so delta H must be added. Delta H must be added. See here, when two equations are added, then CO and CO are cancelled out and this is C plus O2 is equal to CO2. So delta H must be added. So answer becomes 94 kilocalorie. Answer becomes 94 kilocalorie. Clear? So in this way, we can calculate the value of delta H of any equation with the help of other equation which is given. Which is given, it can be multiplied, it can be divided, it can be added, it can be reversed. Anything can be done for obtaining the required equation. For obtaining the required equation, that work is done in the equation, same work is done on the value of delta H. Same work is done on the value of delta H. Is it clear? So it is the Hedge's law. So you can solve any question from the, with the help of Hedge's law of heat of summation. We will do several questions based on this uh, Hedge's law after completing uh, the enthalpy topic. Now, an, another way to calculate the delta H, this is the way of bond energy. This is the way of bond energy. How we calculate delta H in the form of bond energy? See here. So this is the Hedge's law. We use in several questions. bond energy what is the bond energy what is the bond energy the energy required 
the energy required to break all the bonds in one mole of the substance here one mole is constant all the bond in one mole of the substance is known as bond energy of that compound one mole is constant for example if 208 kilo calorie heat is required to break all the bonds in one mole of substance sorry all the bonds in 4 gram hydrogen calculate bond energy of HH see here number of moles number of moles of hydrogen is 4 upon 2 that is 2 mole right and in 2 mole 208 kilocalorie is required but the definition is the energy required to break all the bond in one mole is the bond energy. So the bond energy becomes half of that. So bond energy of HH is upon 2 that is 104 kilocalorie. 104 kilocalorie. Now in case of bond energy, how we calculate the delta H? Now we have three formulas. Delta H is equal to HP minus HR when heat of formations of reactant and product are given. Second is the Hedge law. And third is the in case of bond energy, delta H is equal to bond energy in reactant molecule minus bond energy in product molecules bond energy in reactant molecule minus bond energy in product molecules so this is the formula in case of bond energy delta h reactant minus product this is all about enthalpy enthalpy and the ways to calculate the delta h we seen several ways to calculate the delta h now uh, we apply these concept on several questions now we will do some question based on the enthalpy based on the enthalpy and uh, all concept which is uh, uh, taught by me which is taught by me